Hello St. Vincent, my name is Robert Wojcik. I'm originally from Poland, currently residing in Florida. I'm visiting St. Vincent and Grenadines for the ITF tournament uh, that my son is attending. And I'm really happy to discover this island as this is my first venture to the Caribbean. I started very young. Uh, it was still in the communist system back in Poland. Uh, my brother was the, was the one that uh, got us both going. Uh, but we've been fortunate enough to go to the United States to play college tennis. Prior to that I played a little bit of professional tennis, but the uh, majority of my young career was, uh, was spent in college. Uh, I played for University of South Carolina in the US and it, I had an idea of going on and playing on the professional tour. Um, that did not materialize. I went to, into coaching um, right after school. And ever since I have been developing my craft, um, I ran academy in Arizona for 10 years and uh, four years ago we moved to Florida to, um, to be more immersed in the, in the worldwide competitive tennis, which, the, which South Florida is a, is a big hub for. Uh, and we, we were fortunate enough to develop our own program in Delray Beach, Florida. Uh, the name of our program is Delray Competitive Tennis. Um, we work um, at the facilities that are owned by the city of Delray Beach. Um, our facility actually hosts some, some big international events. Uh, one of them happening uh, in February, it's called International uh, Tennis Championship, ITC, and it's an ATP event, two, two, 250 ATP event. Um, so we've been fortunate to be at perhaps one of the best facilities in Florida. Um, however, our program, we're intentionally keeping a little bit smaller to maintain the, the high quality of, of training and development. Um, the main or, original reason was we wanted uh, the best possible environment for our son, who is playing in the, in the tournament in St. Vincent. Um, so we focused a little bit more on the quality and, and, and the right information being transferred to our, our students rather than the size and the business side of the, of the program. Uh, we, we have some great benefits being in South Florida. Um, South Florida is a mecca of international tennis. Um, there are famous academies like Everett and, and Rick Macy's that, that attract um, a lot of students from around the world. Uh, so the huge benefit is that, uh, that every weekend we can play local tournaments that are basically, that, that have an international character. And the quality of tennis is, is spectacular. So, so having a good training base with a good weather, similar to St. Vincent, um, and having that international exposure right in our local grounds uh, provides a huge benefit for player development. Well, the ITF circuit is an international junior circuit um, that is a in the direct lineage to the junior Grand Slam events. So the players that are motivated uh, to reach the pinnacle of, of junior world tennis have to start competing on the ITF tour in order to collect the points that will allow them eventually to qualify for the Grand Slam events. So our goal, uh, goal with my son and for most junior players is to, to gain the international exposure and be involved with the tournament circuit that allows to generate points uh, that will eventually allow to qualify for those major events. And those major events, uh, needless to say, is the, is the breeding ground for the future professionals. So it's, it's in the direct lineage to the top level tennis that you see on TV. My wife and I were both involved in tennis quite deeply. Uh, we, we both have a coaching and playing background. And with our, with our first son, it seemed as a, as a natural natural choice uh, to immerse him in the in the tennis experience so from very early on we have we have exposed him to to tennis keeping balloons and tennis rackets around the house and allowing him to to experience the first joy of hitting something uh, which he which he gladly picked up um, we got very excited when he was already five and six because he, he became quite good very early um, i would say our deep motivation for him turned out a little bit against us as he kind of lost motivation when we were pressing, uh, pressing him to, to perform and to play more and more. Uh, however, we never left it uh, as an open choice, so he remained in tennis even through the years of, of, of uh, limited motivation. And more recently, as he was already reaching the age of 13, 14, when he started seeing actually the fruits of all these years of work and, 
and, and tennis experiences and especially when he started traveling he picked up a lots of a lots of motivation and and the trips like this one to St. Vincent and to other ITF tournaments seem to be a, a amazing motivation for him to continue with his hard work. And so what advice would you have for parents whose kids say, I don't like tennis and um yeah, well, the one thing is certain that if you want to become good in anything, um, and especially in the, uh, at the world-class level, uh, there's really no choice of or intermittent development. It has to be either fully committed or not. So um, if there is a motivation here for parents in St. Vincent to develop tennis players, it is extremely important that from the beginning there is a seriousness involved. In that, of course, it has to. It has to. The, the balance of play and fun has to be maintained to keep that that, that uh, flame of motivation burning. However, however, the con continu continuity of the development is essential. I think it's very important for for parents and players in the islands like Saint Vincent to really learn what is a true competition around the world and be exposed to uh, to the environments like South Florida uh, that will re that really allow to see what parents and coaches are doing around the world in order to succeed and at, this, at the tennis scene.